We hope you enjoyed the Game of Life Lab. Let's discuss why the relationships between organisms are varied and complex. In nature, animals interact with one another every day. These interactions range from a microscopic paramecium to elephants. Let's take a look at each interaction and some examples of each. The first kind of relationship is predation. Predation occurs when one species hunts and feeds on another species. The predator requires the prey to survive, and the result of this relationship is the death of the prey so the predator can survive and endure. An example of predation is lions hunting and eating zebras. Predation occurs in every environment and is necessary for life to survive. The next relationship is parasitism. Parasitism occurs when one species, a parasite, requires a host to live. It will feed off the host but not kill it, as it is dependent on the host's survival. A good example of a parasite is a leech that sucks the blood out of its host creature in order to survive. The next relationship is competition. Competition is also very common in nature, as organisms compete for food, territory, and shelter constantly. A good example of competition is a cougar marking its territory and having to hunt against other cougars for the same food source. The next relationship is commensalism. Commensalism is when one species relies on another to survive, but does not harm that species. An example of this is cattle and egrets. Cattle stir up insects in the ground when they graze, and the egrets feed on those insects. The last relationship is mutualism. Mutualism is when two species live and benefit from one another. An example of this is when a clownfish lives in a sea anemone. Clownfish help the sea anemones digest food, while the anemones provide the clownfish with protection from larger predators with their poisonous tentacles. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has helped you understand the many relationships that occur between different species in nature. Next time you're outside, see if you can identify any species relationships happening around you.